So in this video, we're going to be taking this MakerBase MKS DLC32 board and putting Fluid NC on it. Okay, Fluid NC is an open source, pretty powerful uh, Gerbil firmware that runs on ESP32s. Okay, now one of the advantages of that is that we can configure these pins to do anything we want. And so we can have like X and Z. Instead of being that Z, it can be another X with its own end stop. So it can self-level a gantry. Or we can add like custom interfaces to it if we want. One of the disadvantages is it doesn't support the screen anymore. There's no screen support for uh, Fluid NC yet. It's sort of coming. They have some some sort of screen things that are in in a uh, in development, but not quite like MakerBase's firmware has. So we're gonna lose that, but gain pin functionality. Okay. So first thing we're gonna do is download Fluid NC. Okay, so I just typed in to Google, to DuckDuckGo, whatever, Fluid NC. And the first one that comes up is Bdring slash Fluid NC. And that's what we want here. So there's, uh, there's an uploader that it comes with it. Okay, so using compiling, let's go down here to the release of Fluid NC. And let's download that. So let's see, I'm on Windows. I'll click that. Okay, let that download. Perfect. Open this up. Extract all. I'm going to extract it to my downloads, which apparently will take a while. <laughs> oh, okay, no, never mind. There we go. Cool. All right. So there it is. Okay, so in here, we have the uploader. Uh, let's see, which one is that? There we go. So we can install with Bluetooth, install-fs. I don't remember what that stands for, but install Wi-Fi. That's what the one we're going to do on this one. Okay. So I want to install the firmware with Wi-Fi in it. Okay. Let's see. There we go. Okay. So I'm going to open this up. And more info and run anyway. All right. So here we go. Let's see, it could not detect any device. Oh, I should probably plug it in, huh? Okay, going to close that out. Let's see. I'm going to plug in the USB and plug in power. There we go. Okay. Try to keep that in screen. <laughs> Okay, and then I have this one little jumper pin. Okay, keep that in mind that I have this. Okay, and then over here where it says SDA, SCL, ground, all that, we're going to be jumpering those together. So a quick backstory: to program the ESP, it needs to be booted into programming mode. To do that, you need to ground out pin zero. Okay, now if we look around the internet, we can figure out where pin zero is. So I did a Google search of the DLC32 pinout, and it shows me not all of it, like, like uh, you know, direction and pulse. I don't know why it calls it S. I don't know what S stands for. She did to be clock or pulse, whatever. <laughs> but yeah, so it has enable, clock, direction, clock or pulse, direction, ground. And it doesn't show pinouts for those, but I'll show you a secret place to find those. Okay. But it does show us uh, uh, input output zero, which is what we're looking for. So we need a ground input output zero to ground, right? Which it just so happens are right next to each other. So lucky us. <laughs> okay. So let's try that again here. Let's see. There, yeah, oh yeah, we're in the right spot. Okay, let's go back to our split. Okay, now that it's plugged in, I can open this up. There we go. And it's trying to connect. Okay. Oh, it's actually flashing. Never mind. <laughs> we don't need a ground out IO0. Well, that works. <laughs> cool. Okay, so this is just part of it right 
So, okay, now we're running Fluid NC. Perfect. Okay. So, we still have to upload a YAML file to get this to work because right now it's sort of empty. Okay. So, I'm going to close this out and then we need to go to Fluid Term here. And yeah, run anyway. Oh, whoops. There we go. Run anyway. All right. So, to upload, we hit Control U. Okay. Pulls up our folder here. Let's go to common. Oh, no, we don't have the YAMLs on here. Okay, that's all right. Let's go back to our internet. And let's see, let's go back to the main Fluid NC and download all the code. So I'm going to download zip. There we go. Okay, open this up. See, extract all. Okay, extract. There we go. Cool. All right. So we got that. Okay. Let's go back to our screen here. And I'm going to press Control U again. Okay. So this time, let's go back to downloads. And we're going to Fluid NC Main. Okay, Fluid NC. And then we're going to Fluid NC. I believe it's under Source. We'll check. There it is. Machine. And, oh, nope, not Machine. Do we have examples here? Configurations. Nope. Okay. <laughs> yeah, where is that thing? Okay, there's one that says... And one of these here, Let's see motors, spindles. Let's see, so this is all the the gerbil stuff here. Okay, configure. Okay, not custom. Nope. Okay. Oh, this is how you add OLEDs if you want to compile this yourself. Okay, let's go out of here. Fluid term. Nope. That's just that. <sighs> okay. I guess you guys are going to watch me look around for this. Example configs. Oh, right in front of my face. <laughs> okay, here's example configs. And we just so happen to have a maker base 2.1. Okay, YAML. So I'll go into this later and how to configure this. But right now, we're just going to grab this maker base DLC 32 version 2.1. Right? XYZ. Perfect. Double click on that, and then I hit enter, and it's going to start uploading it. There we go. Okay, so we're not quite there yet, okay? We got this, like, started, but keep track of this name, MKS underscore DLC 32, okay? Actually, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to, let's see if I can talk to this in here. I think I can. Hit money, money. Oh, yeah, just 10. Okay. So money I. There we go. I think it's money L we want to type in. There we go. Okay. So we want to see. Let's see. I think one of these is config. And it's not showing up here. I'm just going to type in money config. Money config. Enter. There we go. Okay. So you see where it says money config slash file name equals config.yaml? Right now that means nothing, right? So what we want to do is type in money config slash file name equals. And then this is where we type in exactly what we had, right? MKS. Let's see if I can make this a little bit bigger for my personal convenience. Okay. So M K S underscore and uh, case is very important. So if it's uppercase, make sure you type it in uppercase. D L C 32 C underscore 21 underscore X Y Z X Y Z dot Let's see, lowercase, YAML. Okay. 
Hit enter. It says okay, perfect. So just to make sure, I'm going to type in money config. Enter. All right, cool. Okay, so now we need to do a reset. Let's see, so yeah, how do I do a reset? I think it's C T R L X. I don't. Yeah, that doesn't do anything. Okay, <laughs> I think I would. I'm just gonna unplug and replug my board in here. Okay, so unplug power. Okay, yep. Disconnect it. I'll close this anyways. Okay. Then I'll reconnect it. Okay, now time to test it out. Let's open up Laser Gerbil. Oh, cool. Already got it open. Let's see, okay, COM13, hit connect. We're talking. Okay. Let's see. So just to make sure, as it booted up here, let's see, info, fluid, and C. See, configuration file. There it is. MKS DLC 3221. All right. So it's got our X axis, our Y axis, and our Z axis. Something we didn't configure is our steps per millimeter, which I probably have to do. So that's money, access, right? I'm typing that in up here. Enter. Oh, got to scroll back down. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Oh, a lot of info here. Okay, we're going to go money axis slash X. So money sign axis slash X. So it gives us a little less information. <laughs> oh, that's a lot of info. But what do we got here? So we got max rate 18. That's fine. Acceleration. That's a little slow, but that's fine. Steps, there it is. So that's what we need to change. Steps per millimeter. Mine is 80. So let's see. Money axis slash let's see x slash uh steps underscore per underscore mm equals yeah this is see that's a uh, 20 so yeah that's 80 80 steps per millimeter enter all right so Let's give this a try. First of all, unlock it, right? Okay, it's unlocked. There it goes. Okay, speed that up a little bit here. Nice. Okay. Let's see, give it a little distance to go. Oh, that moved just fine. Let's make sure it's actually moving 100. That should be one, two, three, four. That's five holes. Wait, is that 100? Let's see, 20, 40, 60, 80. Okay, so it should hit my finger right here. Nope. Oh, I guess that's 100. <laughs> Is that? Oh, yeah, they're 25 apart. Okay, so 25, 50, 7,500. Okay. That's right. Perfect. Cool. So anyways, now this is running Fluid NC, and you can log on to it, you know, connect it to the web, uh, do all sorts of stuff now that it's running Fluid NC. Anyways, <laughs> sorry for the little bit of struggle. This is actually my first time doing this. Uh, thanks for watching.